No, no, I'm so, I, no, no, I don't mean that. I don't. I am. Um, I held the baby back. Out of guilt. Really, my dear, you mustn't believe this. Plenty of women who slept around afterwards become splendid mothers. Premarital intercourse is no longer considered a serious obstacle to being taken into the fold. No? Haven't you read our publications lately? <laughs> no, you should. The good old C of E is nowadays a far more swinging scene than you seem to suppose. Oh, I see. Oh, surely. Where the action is. <laughs> I've never committed adultery. Well, there you are. That's splendid. <laughs> Fabulous. Crazy. <laughs> Think no more about it. Tell me, what was your husband's reaction to the child? <laughs> he used to say, Think of something worse. You know, that's easy. Joe could have grown up. She could have developed into a real person before it happened. Or she could have been a very intelligent spastic without the use of her limbs. That's worse, I think, than being some kind of living parsnip. Quite. You count your blessing. Yes. And that gives you fortitude. No, but it's something to do. <laughs> it's just when you're up against a disaster of, of this kind, an act of God, it, it's so numbing. And you feel you must make some sense of it, otherwise you... Well, you, you Give up hope? Yes, yes. Now, my husband... He doesn't feel the need to make sense of anything. He lives with despair. <laughs> you told him that? Yep, I did. Why not? That is a bit saucy. Oh, don't you? Can't argue now. He says I shouldn't look for explanations. He doesn't believe in God. Uh, in his own kind of God. <coughs> a manic, depressive rugby footballer. <laughs> well, it's a start. <laughs> Provide some basis for argument. He doesn't like me praying. You've been praying. But what else can I do? I, I look at that flawless little body and those glorious eyes. I, I pray for a miracle to just get her started. It, it seems to me if, if we knew the key... Or the combination, we could get her moving. I mean, do you think the story of Sleeping Beauty is about a spastic? Well, who can say, indeed? My dear, your child's sickness doesn't please God. In fact, it completely brings him down. Why does he allow it, then? How can we know? Then how can you know it doesn't please him? <laughs> Well, we can't know, only guess. It may be disease and infirmity due to the misuse of the freedom he gave us. Perhaps there exists as a stimulus to research. Research? Against infirmity and disease. But if he didn't permit disease, we shouldn't need research. But he does, so we do. <laughs> My dear, the devil, the devil is at work day and night. God does his best, but we don't help him much. Every now and then, an innocent bystander blunders into the crossfire between good and evil, and pow, 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 pow. <laughs> they got me. Better lose the shot me in the tummy. <laughs> or, if you could imagine a poisonous blight that descends upon a an orchard of many different Did varieties please, of trees. Please, please, no more parables. Or it's just, I've had so many of them from the doctor. But how can I explain without imagery? No, I just, I've misled you, all right? I don't want explanations. I've asked the people that should be able to explain. They can't. What do you want? Magic. <laughs> I was slowly coming round to that. <laughs> now and then over the years, there have been in this parish children like your daughter. Just as bad. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm sure. Quite as bad. Now, for those poor innocents, I did the laying on of hands bit. Sorry, what's that? A simple ceremony in your own home, a few prayers, a hymn or two, a blessing, an imposition of hands. Nothing flashy. <laughs> I could be there. 
You, your husband, anyone my, my, you choose. My husband. Yeah, it sounds as though he's in need of some instruction. His prayers would hardly help us if addressed to a manic, depressive rugby footballer. No. God might feel affronted. Yes. He's only human. <laughs> no. No, he's not. How silly of me. Look, perhaps you could have a word with him. Over a pint. Oh, your husband. <laughs> Not that I've anything against rugby. Scrum half myself for many years. Thank you. Is this yours? <laughs> it's just I feel one shouldn't make a religion out of it. Look, with those other children, did you have any luck? I mean, did God... You know? There was one child, no better than Joe. Made such rapid recovery after I'd done the laying on a few times, the medicos confessed themselves bewildered. No. He's 12 now, and this spring he was runner-up in the Southwest area tap dancing championships. Oh, oh, fantastic! Happy feet, I've got those happy feet. Give me a low down, be chukas in I'm not sure of his routine. <laughs> You're going to take this seriously? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Do you really think that you could work a miracle? Not me, dear. If a miracle happens, it's only through me. Right. But remember Jairus' daughter, damsel I sent to thee, arise. And who knows, in a few years' time, little Joe might well be. Animal crackers in my soup, lions and tigers, loop da loop, pigs and dogs. But you wouldn't do it, would you? <coughs> Actually, he was a good man. He was kind and sincere. Yeah, he was. And that boy, that boy was cured. Certainly improved. And yes, he was runner-up in the Southwest Area Tap Dancing Championships. But he never had been as bad as Joe. Oh, I don't care. I looked into Well, it. you shouldn't have. I talked to people. Where's the harm, Bri? What else did we have? Nothing. Well... I'd rather have nothing than a lot of lies. Well, you're unusual. First, he would have done it for us. Then he would have got his mates in to give the prayers more whoosh, more pow. And before long, he'd have had us doing it in church. Gloated over by all those Death Watch beetles like the victims of a disaster. Just that it could have worked. He might have. He might. I'm sure it was better to stop it then rather than later. After he'd raised your hopes. <coughs> Sheila. <coughs> but if he had got her going, she'd only have one personality. As it is, we've given her dozens over the years. As soon as we were admitted to the Freemasonry of Spastic's parents, we soon saw that she had even less character than the other children. So we began to make them for her. Some never really suited. No. Like the concert pianist dying of TB. <laughs> or the girl that was tragically in love with a midget against her parents' wishes. Oh, that was based on would you let your daughter marry one? I rather like the drunken bag lady who threw bottles at us if we didn't bring our gin and pipe tobacco. But they were all too active, the facial expression just wasn't right. The one that stuck in the end was my mum as the coach tour lady. Powder pink felt hat, white gloves, Cuban heels, swagger coat. And seasick pills in her handbag, in case there's lots of twisting and turning. She doesn't like foreigners. No, or council houses. Or a shafting. No. Knows, <laughs> knows to her class what it will lead to. She loves the Queen. And Jesus, sees him as a kind of eccentric English gentleman. <laughs> Hello, would you like a fish? <laughs> Toast. <laughs> Spread it around.